Good afternoon, peeps. Today is March 29th. We are almost at the end of the month. And uh, my last video was pretty heavy on funerals, aka home goings for Christian people, um, tips, do's, and don'ts. So I thought today I would do something a little bit more fun. Uh, so you know how Oprah has her favorite things? I was going to go over Kamisha's favorite things. And I have lots of favorite things, but the things I could think of are on the table and my table in back of me. So one of the first things I wanted to um, share with you guys is one of my favorite things to do. I can't do it right now because of COVID-19, you know, everything's shut down, but my unlimited, and I'll stand up so you guys can see it, Regal app. And you know, you create a account, password. You can see it's frozen because of what's going on right now. But um, you know, it shows your points and everything. And literally it's unlimited. You can go to the movies whenever you want, which is great for somebody like me because I love going to the movies. Um, it's like my peaceful, relaxing activity. Um, helps center me, calm me down. It's like my escape from reality. But it's really user friendly. You know, it has your main page with your Regal Unlimited. And when you click on that, that's what you show them at the movie theater. You scan. Um, you also get 10% off of concessions. Sometimes they'll give you some extra things. But I don't really eat too much when I go to the movie. I'm just there to watch the movie. And these are all, it tells you, you know, you can look, search for locations where you want to go or what side of town. Um, normally I go to the one by my house, but um, this shows all the movies playing. Of course, it says now playing is empty because nothing's playing. But um, here are my tickets. And the last movie that I got to see was on March the 14th. And it was, I still believe it was an awesome, excellent movie. And you can see pretty much I go like every two days. So... That is absolutely one of my favorite things to do and it the price outweighs itself it's like 22 26 for the month I think and after you've seen two movies it pretty much pays for itself so if you go like I do I think it's a great investment um, so I'm gonna start at the table back here um, one of my the next favorite thing is these super feet um, I get them from Fleet Feet or whatever store. You can get them on Amazon too. Same price. But if you don't have an arch, I don't have an arch. My feet look okay, but I'm not going to lift them up to show them. But uh, uh, I don't have an arch. So these, when I, went, when I had a trainer, this absolutely helped me. Um, it gave me an arch. So I have them in almost every pair of tennis shoes that I have that I own. They make walking so much easier for me. Um, I don't have to cut mine down because they pretty much fit. They fit my feet, and I'm sorry if they're a little dirty. But that's the back. That's what they look at front. Um, normally, you can put these in the washing machine too, but uh, you can cut them down if they don't quite fit. Because I think they come. Mine is like size nine to, or it's size women eight point five to ten, and I'm a nine and a half. So. Um, I don't normally have to cut them down. They just, I, they fit for me. But, you know, they're great. Um, they give you, I think, longevity, endurance. I use um, them a lot to do 5Ks. I don't do 5Ks as much. Like, I did them the past two years. I was doing, like, two a month. And, you know, they're fun, great way to meet people. Um, but I was think I was, it was more of a coping mechanism for me where it was helping me deal with some things that were going on in my life and then my mom passing. So I did like two last year and I had one scheduled for May, the Wonder Woman, but we'll see what happens, you know, with COVID-19. So those are great. If you don't have an arch, they provide great support. Um, one of the next things, sorry that I'm walking around, this is the best way I figured out how to do it, is Beachbody On Demand. Um, I signed up via one of my friends from high school, good friends. She is a coach on Beachbody On Demand. And I was one of those people who said they could never work out at home. I just didn't want to do it. I think it was an excuse, to be honest. But after I moved um, from Gwinnett, I was further away from my trainer and some other things. And I was just tired of driving. So um, 
you know, I believe in like divine connections and I just believe God put this in front of me. And I signed up in January of last year. I think I paid 130, maybe 99. It was a special going on, very cheap. You get access to all of their workouts for the whole entire year. They have, and I don't wanna give you guys the wrong number, but they probably have over 100 workouts. Um, you get Beachbody on demand. So you'll sign up and this is wrong because I have worked out six days this week. So I usually sign in via my, um, my iPad because it, the workouts are bigger, but I guess everything doesn't always sync or maybe I'm doing something wrong. It could be a user error, but this is my coach, Melissa Sherb. If you want to sign up under her, I will glad you gladly give you her information. But I currently, I just finished Country Heat, and um, it gives you an overview of the, the workout program and, you know, how to start, everything like that. Really, really cool. Um, when I signed up again in January to renew, um, oh, let me show you also that um, when you get your coach, you'll get um, an app to sign in with other people that are a part of your group. So um, again, Melissa Sherb is my coach, and this is correct. So I use this every day when I log in my workout. Um, you log in your workout. It's not really showing too good on my screen, but your Shakeology, um, everything. So as of right now, I've done a total of 65 workouts um, since we started this little, it's called the Happiness Project. This is what we're on. And then you just post all your stuff. And let me see if I can get to my post if it'll come through. So these are all my posts from my workouts. Um, it's fun, it's accountable. Other ladies are encouraging. You can be, I'm just gonna show you guys this one, but you can be, look like not your best and it doesn't matter, people are just there to encourage you. But the Beachbody program that um, when I re-signed up, the one that I started, which I have not started, which I'm gonna do on Monday, is the Bear, the Bear Blend. And I am not really, I don't like care for yoga, or maybe I just have the wrong thoughts about yoga, but um, it's a really good program from what the other ladies have told me. You get these motivational cards, and you'll post that when you finish your workout. Um, and then a recipe book. They have awesome recipes online too. I use, I've used a lot of their recipes. And then one of my favorite things that comes with Beachbody is Shakeology. Now, I'm gonna be honest, Shakeology is not cheap, not at all, but you know, it does the job. Um, and we spend money on all kind of other things, so why not spend money on your health? I've tried the chocolate vegan, and this time I have the cafe latte. I don't, I don't drink these every day. I might do once or twice a week, because I like, I like food food in the morning like eggs, bacon, or sausage, or even um, I've started eating the almond yogurt. But um, this is this keeps you full or it's great for a snack. Um, like I said, it's not cheap, I'm gonna be honest. And um, I love this too. They're another product that they have, the Boost. If you have um, issues with getting your digestive tract to use, or let's be honest, going to the bathroom, bowel movements, and this helps a lot. So I love those two things from Beachbody On Demand. It's a cool program. I have toned and lost weight from it. Um, and I'm more consistent now, so I'm doing better. And your coach is there to help you. The lady's there to encourage you. So you always have support. So that's the nice thing. Accountability. I need accountability in that area because I know how I am. So another product that I love and I get from Amazon is this B12 organic spray. Um, I can sometimes be B12 deficient. And I think that just comes along with my blood type. O positive, for some reason, I think we're B12 deficient. But it is a simple spray. Spray it like three or four times. And it gives you a nice little sustained energy throughout the day. I buy mine from Amazon. You can get two instead of one. Um, some other things that I really like are essential oils. Um, as I've gotten, my body is aging, 
These have helped a lot. I love Trader Joe's tea tree oil. Now it is strong. It doesn't smell the best, but it does the job. And you can look at the benefits. Um, I'll try to post it, something new. I'll post it on the description. But tea tree oil does a lot for my, you know, for skin, for bruises. Um, myrrh, myrrh, I like to put myrrh on zits on my face. And, or I get uh, ingrown hairs, for, unfortunately. So that helps with this, with that. And then something that I have just, I just like to try stuff. I'm a little different. So lavender, and you can look at the benefits of lavender, but I have started rubbing lavender on my feet at night and like on my shoulders. And man, I've been, I go to sleep easy anyway, but this just helps add a little extra something and helps me sleep really well. And it smells really good. I put lavender on my hair. Um, when I take a bath, I put it in my bath water. So it's good for a whole lot of other things. Another product that I like, again, just being honest, I have, I have to work hard on getting my body to digest the way it should. So this is something recently that I started using. It's, it's D Herbs Experience and Healing. They have a great set of products for um, cleansing, just if you wanna do a body cleanse. And I think you should do it like maybe once a quarter, just to reset your body, it really helps. But this is something I can take every day and I confirm with two doctors, they said it's okay. It's for colon and the, my digestive tract, so it helps me to eliminate eliminate properly because like I said I've just always had issues with that and I'm working on correcting that something else that I love that helps with my digestion or stomach issues aloe vera juice and I get this from Whole Foods um, there are different brands but I like this because it's the pure leaf and I'm kind of hard hardcore this is another product it I'm just gonna be honest it doesn't taste the best they do have a pomegranate flavor, but it comes in a smaller container. And um, if you have severe stomach problems, so I will tell you a quick story. Probably a couple of years ago, I started, um, I love spicy food. I love tomatoes, things like that. Pizza, one of my favorite things. And I was starting to get acid reflux. And my dad, I don't know if you call it hereditary, but when I was in high school, he had a really bad um, situation where he was starting to experience acid reflux. He had to have surgery. He was hospitalized. They did some kind of surgery where they, I think they tied off some of, some of his intestines. So I was concerned that I was starting to go that route. And I'm a little stubborn when it comes to certain things and I was refusing to give up certain food. So I'm just like, God, I just don't think it's in your will that I should have to give up tomato sauce that's just how I felt so remember one of the um, ladies that I went to church with said she had been hospitalized because of colon issues and she started drinking this every day and um, basically it was reversed she didn't have to have surgery and so I'm I'm all for natural means of doing things instead of like medicine I take medicine when I have to but if I can wean myself off of it or get a natural um, substitute, I will. So I work myself up to a cup a day. You start with two ounces, and I think I was doing two ounces, um, then I moved to four, then I moved to six, and then I just, now I can just chug a, a cup. But man, I, I do not, I do not have any acid reflux issues. And if something starts to like happen a little bit, I just chug a little cup of this and it goes away instantly. So if you're looking at a natural way to heal some digestive, some colon issues or some acid reflux, I would say try this. And I did it for about a year and I, I promise you I don't have any problems. Um, and like I said, I'm a little hardcore. Your body might reject it at first like it would anything that's not the best tasting. But as your body gets used to it, you'll be able to drink it without any issues. So this is one of my favorite things for stomach problems. Another thing for stomach problems, like I said, that's, you know, I have to work extra hard to get my, my stomach to act right sometimes. Ginger drink. And basically this is just, this is the brand that I like. Find it at the farmer's market, um, gold kit. It is just crystallized ginger. You add hot water to it, 
goes straight down. And again, ginger is something else that helps with digestion issues. I like spicy foods, so sometimes I have to drink this when I have too much. Uh, let's see. The Master Cleanse. This is one of my favorite detoxes. Um, you might have, in this book, you can find this book at Whole Foods. It's like $7.95, very cheap or online. But please, before you start this, read the entire book twice so you understand exactly what you're doing. Um, it's very hardcore. There is no food for about 11 days. You are just drinking a mixture of maple syrup, cayenne pepper, water, and lemon juice. And if you do it right, and including the salt water cleanse, you can make it through those days. Um, your body doesn't need that much. I mean, I'm just learning. Your body doesn't need all the food that we give it. And um, this is a true detoxer. My nails brighten up, my toenails, because sometimes my toenails are discolored. But when I do this, that goes away. My skin clears up. Um, and it really is just a reset for your body. And it's amazing that um, you're still having bowel movements after 11 days of no food. So that just tells you all the crap that probably is on the inside of us. Um, it is a little hardcore, but I don't recommend this for permanent weight loss. This should be like just a detox to just reset you. Don't use it as a weight, trying to lose weight because you lose weight fast and I, I know your body really doesn't. You want to keep it off and not for it to come back on. But I love this. Um, I, I did it last, when did I last time I did it? I think it was last year or maybe the winter. Wait, I did it last year, last time. Maybe it was in the summer I did it. So um, right now I am working on regular weight loss with Beachbody and then um, finally know how to eat portion wise. So once I get past that and then get to the weight that I wanna stay at, I will go back to this for maintenance, you know, just for detox cleansing purposes. But I don't think this is a way to lose weight and keep it off. It's just for detox cleansing purposes only. So let's go to food items. One of my favorite things, and I have lots of favorite food items, but this is what I thought of right now, so I might do another video later. But I love Trader Joe's. Um, I just love their products and their ingredients are, you know, normal ingredients, things that you know and can read. And this is jerk style plantain chips. Like I told you guys, I love spicy food. These are so good. This is one of my favorite snack items. I haven't opened them because I don't need to eat them right now. It's not a carb day. But I love them. Um, so good if you like spicy, if you like different things. Um, one of the other things that I have fell in love with is HelloFresh. So they send you, depends, you can pick three or more meals, but it's just me, so I don't need more than three. And it'll last me, one meal will last me a whole day because I eat it for dinner and lunch, but I usually alternate. So right now I've gotten three meals. This is the box that it comes in. Uh, HelloFresh normally comes on a Saturday. Um, everything's secured. Um, frozen is frozen, cold is cold, and they send you these beautiful recipe cards. And I'll, I think I might try to put a picture of what I actually cooked. I made this. Um, that was this was excellent, very good. Um, roasted vegetable farro bowls, so good. Um, the shrimp, the sizzling, that was good too. And the hamburgers, grilled onion cheeseburgers, they were pretty good. I didn't care for the. The sauce, but everything was good. I mean, straightforward. If you, I'm a recipe girl, they give you pictures and everything. So, loved it. Um, I might try to add some pictures. But this is a great thing if you don't know what to cook or you don't like to make recipes. They give you everything you need in this box. Now, you might have to have some like other ingredients, but it's usually very small. This is my next favorite thing for kitchen items, my food saver. I inherited this from my mom. If you like to cook casseroles like me and it's just you and you end up making more food and you know you only get, you get tired of stuff after one or two days. This is excellent. I have a deep freezer downstairs. Um, this is like my gadget, my toy. I love it. I love it. Um, it just 
helps you be better prepared. I hate going to the grocery store every week. So when I can put things in the food saver and put it in the freezer, that keeps me from going to the grocery store. So I love this thing. A very great investment if you have a bigger family. Let's see, let's go to um, some cleanup products. Now, I do understand because of the current COVID-19 crisis that these have become popular items. But I like these way before all of this stuff went down. You can ask my friends. These were staple, these are and were staple items in my house. Wet wipes, you could ask people on missions trips. Everybody would always ask me for, they knew that I had a whole bag full of these. These are great, they get stains out of your clothes when you're out, I love them. I'm upset that this might be my only stash for a while until, you know, things kind of slow down. And again, I was in the game way before COVID-19. These are staples, were staples in my house. If you love me, or if you want to bless me, you just send me a box full of either one of these and we will be best friends. I mean, that's how much I use them. I have one in the kitchen, I have one in all the bathrooms, I have one in the laundry mat. I love these so much. It's easy cleanup, easy in between cleanups before you do your big cleanup. Um, and I really like the Lysol because Publix has them buy one get one free on sale a lot. And that's how I stock up on them. So you guys pray for me that I will be able to find them easily as time goes by. My dad had to mail me some. That's how serious I am about those products. And it's just not a fact. I was using them way before this whole thing started. So let's go to one of my favorite hair products. I'm gonna bring these two actually. Um, and if there's a better way, I guess I could have sat down, but I'm still learning, so you guys bear with me. So this detangle brush, my hair is not natural right now, meaning that I have it crocheted. So this is my hair, but this is not. So my natural hair, when I use this brush, it just does wonders. It like helps go through your curls so much easier. And forgive me, I'd have no idea what this part is for. I tried to read on the box, but not a lot of directions. But I got this one from Amazon. Um, eight free moving arms to tangle brush it works like magic so if you are you know I think if you have curly hair if you're african-american natural hair this makes detangling your hair so much easier it, it works wonders and I've taken it to my hairdressers and they seem to be excited about it as well so one of my other favorite products is pure shea butter um, so my skin, like regular lotion, especially during the summer, it's like I'm ashy as soon as I go out the door, even if I put on a ton of lotion. But in the summer, when I use this, it's like my legs and my skin glisten for the whole day. I don't have to reapply. It is a little greasy, messy, but if I don't gotta put on lotion 20 times a day, I'm all for it. And it's just natural, pure butter, and I, you know, it also helps with your skin, helps get some, you know, bruises, things off your skin. So it's great for your skin, and I got I get that brand at Walmart, um, but I think it's a certain distributor that you have to get this from, but any kind of pure shea butter will work. And this is RA Cosmetics, made in the US. Next favorite thing is a scrub. It's Minimo Glow, and it's got turmeric and grapefruit. It is so freaking good. I use it on my skin. I get a lot of ingrown hairs and I already have to wax my lip and my eyebrows so I refuse to do anything else. I used to get like full body leg, but I, I, you know, I think women, everybody, men too, as your body ages, you go through certain hormonal changes and I wanna say 35, and it may have been stress too. And again, when you're stressed out, your body starts to react in different ways. Man, my legs just broke out. So I had to stop getting waxed. I mean, it stopped now, but it was like, I think I was like, I was getting pimples on my leg. And I don't, I, thank God, I have never had like major skin issues, but it was showing up on my legs, but that stopped now, thankfully. 
But um, this stuff is, it smells so good. That's what it looks like. It's a little messy. Um, you know, if you wash your face and it's a white cloth, it'll leave a stain. It'll wash out, but um, it helps. I, you know, I use it on my skin every couple of days, on my feet too. But scrubs for me, they just help pull out the ingrown hair so I can pluck them. Because I just refuse to start getting waxed because I don't want to have to keep that up. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, Mary Kay. I love Mary Kay products. Um, that's what I have on my skin right now. When I was close to 30, my skin broke out. I had never had any kind of issues with my skin before as far as pimples. And then my sister, who was a Mary Kay rep, I am too technically, but I just, I'm, I like the product. I don't want to sell it. So I can leave her, her information in the description bar if you want to reach out to her. Clear Proof does wonder. It cleared up my skin. This is what I use. It's the cleanser and the moisturizer. There are more things that come with that line, but I don't really need them. There's a toner. I don't use it. I use the acne treatment when I get a pimple, maybe, or um, I've started using essential oils. Um, another thing that I love is this charcoal mask. Um, I'll try to put a picture in the video for you. I still have to learn how to do that. But this does wonders, and actually I use the Mary Kay brush. Don't hurt me, ladies. Uh, but this is how I put the mask on. I know it's not for that, but that's what I use it for. Um, it's a little messy, so you might want to use gloves, but if you do it in the shower, doesn't matter. I love it. It does wonders for my skin. Um, I might do it once every couple of months. If you're more hardcore, you can do it more. Um, something else that I just got from Mary Kay are these hydrogen eye gel patches. It just brightens up under your eyes. I love it. I think I do it like once a week so far. And that's what it looks like. And they give you a little scooper right there to help you pick it out. And I just, you leave it under your eye for 20 minutes, both eyes. And I just feel like it makes your, your eyes pop out when you get done with it. So those are one of my favorite things right now. And let's go to the back of the table. So this is, um, I love this thing. I haven't had to use it a lot lately because uh, I haven't really been stressed out, praise God. But when I am, it is called a damn it doll and for the christians it's okay um so when your temper is about to boil because your team has failed to score or just life period here's a little damn it doll you cannot do without just grasp it firmly by the legs and slam it slam it and as you whack the stuffing out yell damn it damn it damn it now i try not to curse um and really for the first almost 40 years why well, I'm just turned 40 but first 30 something years of my life I didn't but I told Jesus I'm kind of making up for last lost time so I might say some now um, but I I'm not like I just don't use curse words on a regular basis but sometimes I have had to use this like at work last year and I love it it's just a nice stress reliever and to keep you from hurting somebody else I think you need to get one of these. I got mine from Etsy, but you can find them wherever. Um, Clemson, go Clemson, graduated from Clemson. But you know, you don't have to say damn it if you don't like to use that what type of language. You can say Jesus, Jesus or whatever select words you'd like to use. Um, I think those are fun. I like to give those as gifts too. These are great stress cleavers. One of my absolute favorite things, and this is new, I just got this done. This is from a company called Repat. And what they do is, I'm very sentimental, and I like to keep stuff. So if you have all these t-shirts that mean something to you, but you don't wear them anymore, this is what you can do with it. And you can tell a story, you know, once I have kids, family, I can tell them about all the things that I did. Um, some of these are from the 5Ks that I did. This is from a missions trip. Um, that was like one of my favorite t-shirts, women's conference at church. This is from when I did my study abroad in Ecuador. So it's just cool how they put all of the, you know, you cut them out, they give you the instructions. Um, when I was in Bible school, Clemson. So I have several of these. That was one of my favorite t-shirts down there. Um, I have probably about five or six of these now. 
you know, and it's just a great way you can tell a story, especially if you have kids, you know, you want to keep their stuff, something great to hold on to their t-shirts and then graduation birthday gift for them. One of my favorite things. And the thing that I like about Repat, the back is made from recycled material and you can just choose what color you want on the back. They do a great job. I didn't put a link. This is Repat, what they look like. Um, just a great company. So I like them. I think they do a good job. And this is another thing that I love. Um, like I said, I'm very sentimental. I love memories and I had given one to somebody before, had somebody made, but I never had one for myself. So two of my very sweet friends, Victoria and Farida, made me one for my birthday. It's a photo blanket and a lot of it has my mom on it. She's passed, but you know, that's when we went to um, Italy, to Rome, their 40th wedding anniversary, my 30th, 35th birthday party. And it's just, it's great to sleep in, great quality, and it's just great memories to wrap around you. And at the end it says, Kamisha's life story, happy 40th birthday, which was last year. So I love that. That's one of my favorite things. I'm getting to the end. Save the best for last. <laughs> so one of my favorite people right now um, is Mr. Trevor Noah. I found out about him, I was late to the game. Last year in January, um, I just started coming across his videos, um, loved his comic relief, and the more I started listening to him, like I think we have a lot in common. Like I think if we met in person, like we'd be great friends because we think a lot alike. And so I bought his book. I bought it last year and I am just, uh, I'm not a person that really reads for pleasure. His book was super great though. It's easy to get through because it's funny and it's got so much humor, humor and sarcasm. I finally finished it last week. Yay, it's like a big accomplishment for me. But now I've discovered book on tape, so I'm gonna stop torturing myself and just get books on tape. Like I had, I had bought Michelle Obama's book, Becoming. I tried to read through it. I just, me and reading for pleasure. Not one of my strong suits yet. So I got it, the book on CD, and then I have accounts on my iPad now, so I know what to do. Um, but this is a great book. He's a great person. I love him. And it's not like when I first started listening to him, it wasn't like I even had a crush. Now I have a little bit of a crush. And uh, last year, I got to go to one of his um, tours, Loud and Clear. Um, and I had so much fun with my friend, Nicoa. I couldn't get anybody else to go with me, so she indulged me. But we had a great time. We saw him in Charlotte. And when I like you, I'm gonna support you. Um, if you have great products or whatever, I just like you. So this is one of my absolute favorite things. Oh my God, I love this jacket. I love hoodies. And I don't know what Trevor's company, his team made this out of, but this is like, and I'm not just saying it because it has his name on it. I mean, that might be five, 10% of why I like it. But this is just great, 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 great quality. I mean, I wear this, I know it's getting warmer now, but I wear this all the time. I don't know what they use, but it's great. I like it better than all of my other jackets. And, you know, I like Trevor. So, anyway, um, if you go to one of his tours or you just want to get it, it's great quality. Um, I'll probably wear this a long time like I did my Esther shirt. And now I have my Usher shirt on one of my blankets too. So I'll do the same with his, but I might buy another one because I love the quality. And not, oh, sorry, one more thing. So I, like I said, I'm big on memories. So I have started framing a lot of my stuff. And I use different framers. You can go to Hobby Lobby. Michaels. Um, there's a guy in my parents' hometown. Um, he works with the framer and he did this for me. But basically I designed it and I just think it's a great way to keep up with what you did in your life. Um, I was in Ecuador for a study abroad and I bought this bandana and I was just keeping it 
And then I finally started going through all my stuff and I'm like, Lord, I have to figure out a way to do, to keep this or get rid of it. So I turned it into a work of art. Um, spread out the bandana and um, took some pictures that I had from the Galapagos. And then I put little saying, you know, just so I could remind myself what was going on at that time. And I think it turned out really well. So if you need help, if you need help, I love that scrapbooking. If you want to ask me for some ideas, I can help you with that. Um, that's one of the things I like to do. I don't actually do the framing. I'm probably sure I could, but I'd rather pay somebody to do it. But we can come up with the concept, the idea. So last but not least, my ultimate favorite thing is the Bible. Um, I have several different versions of the Bible. This is my latest one. This is in Spanish and in English, bilingual Bible. And it is the New Living Translation version because that version is just so easy to understand. So it's in English and Spanish. Have I been practicing using reading in Spanish? Not like I should have. I bought it for my missions trips to help with that. Um, but this is my last favorite thing, near and dear to my heart. Um, if you're a Christian, and I would say a word of faith Christian, meaning that you actually apply the word of God to your life. Um, when the Bible says that you can have something, you say it and you believe it and it comes to pass. That's the kind of Christian that I am. I think I told you guys last time I believe in praying in tongues. Um, that's where our power comes in. Um, you're talking to God, although you don't know what you're saying. He does. It's helping your spirit connect with his spirit. And um, this has just been, this is my final authority. Am I always perfect? I don't know. But this is what I believe from Genesis to Revelations. Um, I think the more time that you spend with God, the easier that it becomes for him to give you understanding about the word. And then being in a great word-based church also helps. Um, I'm at a great church. Um, my pastor understands the Bible. He spits it out like fire. And he's a little in your face. So if you don't like somebody telling you about yourself all the time, you may not like him, but I like it. I think it's hilarious. So I, I can take it, but I know he's not for everybody, and that's fine. That's why God created other pastors, other churches, so you could get it through a means that you can that identifies with you. But um, this is, man, this is my life. Um, I don't know what I would do without Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God. And I talk to them like I'm talking to you, and and it's just like practicing. If you expect God to talk to you, he will. If you expect for him to say something back to you, you will. And he's concerned about every, every single detail about your life. Like my outfit today, he's the one that told me what to wear. And you're like, oh, Kamisha, that's too religious. No, it's not religious. It's called having a relationship. When you have a relationship with somebody, excuse me, Chip. When you have a relationship with somebody, you guys interact, you talk. So it's more about having a relationship with him, letting him talk to you. And ultimately, helping you to be more like him and more like Jesus. Because Lord knows, I know, I have a long way to go. But anyway, that's it for my favorite things. I am going to do my best to put links to stuff in the description. I'm still learning how to do all of this stuff. Um, and like I said, I'm just making these videos. See where they're going to go. So again, if you ever want to reach out to me, you can hit me up on Facebook. Kamisha Hendricks. Um... My Instagram is still private. I want to keep that private for right now. You might think I'm weird. I'm sorry. Oh, no, sorry. That's just me. So you can reach out to me on Facebook, Kamisha Hendricks. And if you have any, if you have any comments, you can leave me a comment. But again, we're still in the midst of the COVID-19. They call it crisis. Um, for my believers, Christians, I just believe this is opportunity for us to show people, to give them the word, to love on them, give them hope. Um, and I hope, hopefully you'll try out some of these things that I listed in the video. Anyway, have a wonderful Sunday. Be blessed. Don't be in fear. Um, there are some great educational videos out there about COVID-19. Just keep your hands washed. They do recommend wearing masks but not to shield yourself from the disease, it's to shield yourself from your hands. Because if you're like me, you touch your face a lot. 
So they're saying to wear a mask or even a bandana to help you practice not to touch your hand, your face when you go out. So now I understand why people are doing that. I just thought they were being defiant. But no, it's a practice to help you not to touch your face when you go out because it's transferred by your hands. So um, love you guys. Stay safe. Be encouraged. Do all the things that you couldn't do from being at home. And just enjoy this time. And I believe we'll be outside again together soon.